Tony Rook. Um, we got married on the 17th of June at the Mandarin Oriental and we booked Schwing. We are actually on holiday, that's how excited Turkey. and we were in Turkey yeah. and we um, scra scrambled to a internet cafe on our iPhone to look at your video. Yeah. Right. yeah. Can't believe I've not seen them before. Yeah, right. really exciting, different as well. Yeah. Um, we wanted our guests and us to have a memory to take away with us that didn't just comprise of photos, food, and etc. Yeah, we really wanted... and I've seen that band so many times. Yeah, yeah, and we wanted people to feel excited. Yeah, right. I think we looked at the style of music, and we saw that the uh, the music on the website was uh, a lot of kind of jazz, jazz, soul. And soul. It wasn't, a lot of, it wasn't a lot of upbeat music. So we're like, well, will they actually manage to turn it from a dance into a party? Right. And then, you know, and the also answer, we, well, then questions got answered. Yeah, quite yeah, yeah, the answers for those we got from you guys. We, we wanted to make sure having quite a number of young people at the wedding, mm. a lot of our friends and a lot of our family and cousins and relatives, that we would have a full dance floor. Mm. And that was our, probably if we had one main concern, that would, be, would have been our main concern. I think that sound, we like that sound yeah. because then also, okay, yeah, we had a concern about will it be enough for the party? But then once, once they answered that and we actually, we actually heard the music, we thought, well, the older generation will love that. And, and surprisingly, the younger guys really yeah. got into that with obviously what's popular in the charts, Buble and Emma. Yeah, you know, it, it, it was really did yeah. fuse, fuse the generations. Yeah, right. definitely. It was, it was having the blend of jazz, soul, swing, but with artists who perform that yeah. today that right. are recognisable. Yeah. And the concerns that we had early on, you ironed out right. at the beginning, um, when we weren't sure what was going to happen after the kind of dinner into the dancing area, you kind of cleared that for us and right. put our minds at rest. And then having a conversation with Anthony, the lead singer, right. the week before the wedding, mm. just to run through our ideas and what we were asking for and hoping for mm. really made us excited. Yeah. Um, and those two areas and having you available on email and phone at all times yeah. and having you respond to us even when you're on holiday, yeah. it, it was really reassuring. Yeah. I think, yeah, it, it, it was. And, and when Lex said, you know, we want this to happen and that to happen, he said, understand, uh, leave it to me. Don't worry too much about the detail of the song. Yeah. You know, leave it, leave it to me was, the best thing. Literally, and it was speaking to Anthony a week before the wedding, um, everything was pretty much done. It was just mm. one less thing we had to worry about. Right. So Anthony really just made also, us feel at ease. It was fun that we didn't know what the next song was coming. We yeah. knew that we hadn't chose yeah, X, Y, Z. So definitely. It was exciting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was exciting yeah. for us. We had no idea what yeah. was coming up next, and it was nice that we could put our trust in Anthony and yeah. the band to gauge. The, 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 yeah. the, the guests and the mood and to kind of lead everyone yeah. in the right direction. Right. Uh, coming into the ballroom as Mr and Mrs. Oh yeah. Was, ele felt electric. Because yeah. although everyone had seen us, everyone had been at the reception, we'd been off having photos. So we come into the room to obviously music, everyone's clapping and cheering and mm. obviously they're cheering for us to come in. So that, that was electric yeah. for me. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So if we were recommending Schwing to a friend, we would certainly tell them that they were different. Um, the, the dance floor was full, the music was varied, um, it wasn't stagnant at any point, and they really gave it a party atmosphere in the right places. So having the grand piano, um, the horns, gave it that element of sophistication that you wouldn't necessarily see from a band that was really banging the drums and was making a big racket, it felt... So, also the way they dress. Yeah. Mm. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah, they looked the part. Mm. They suited, for us, they suited the venue perfectly. Yeah. I just wish we could do it all again. Mm.